Well, what does this all mean for the future of Tesla? Joining me now to talk about that is Bill Messner, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Tufts University in Boston. Bill, thank you for joining us. This announcement nice to speak with you again. To say, yes. Good to have you. Uh, is basically to say that down the road, once the technology is up to speed and the regulation is in place, Tesla vehicles will be geared up to be fully autonomous. How far away are we from that happening? Uh, it's an excellent question. Uh, of course, uh, Tesla's technology is a little different than some of the other people that are working on this thing, like Uber. Um, so uh, and again, it also depends on where they're planning to use this. Uh, I watched the Tesla video. It was in a beautiful sunny day in, in California with not a lot of traffic and, and worked beautifully. But um, mm -hmm. you know, what's going to happen when there's some construction and rain and snow and stuff like that? Uh, we don't know yet. OK, now you mentioned Uber, other companies as well, like Google, Ford, and Volvo have also vowed to come out with fully autonomous vehicles. Where do you think Tesla stands in this race? Is it one of the leaders? Well, it's certainly one of the leaders when it comes to private transportation. That is a car that you or I might buy. Um, uh, Uber, uh, Volvo, and I believe Ford are all talking about deploying fleet vehicles. That is. Uh, you know, something like what Uber would do to taxi fleet or something. So uh, they're looking at different markets from what I can see. And, um, uh, well, personally, I think that Uber or one of these fleet vehicles is going to more likely to be the first ones to drive fully autonomously. Uh, but Tesla may be the first ones to deploy something that uh, a private citizen would own. Now, you said you know, it's hard to know uh, when it's going to be rolled out because what happens in more challenging conditions, snow, et cetera. Uh, the company, though, is saying that its safety um, in the technology will put their cars at a safety level substantially greater than that of a human driver. Um, do you think we should believe them after the death in Florida where the driver was using autopilot and another Tesla death uh, in China? I do think we should believe them. I think that uh, uh, those are uh, uh, that's a very small number of incidents. There really aren't enough uh, cars on the road, enough driving miles for us to really assess this. Uh, perhaps at some point there'll be statistics to tell us whether or not these vehicles are much safer. They're undoubtedly safer in certain circumstances. Um, you know, they're looking around 360 degrees, so. That means they can see things that you or I wouldn't see, like stuff that's happening behind us, or if you or I looking left or right and something happens in front of us. Uh, in those situations, I think they'll definitely be safer. Um, the question is, again, in these more challenging uh, conditions where uh, unexpected things can happen, and humans have a bit of intuition about uh, you know, what's happening in a construction site, or I just got splashed by a big rig and now I should do this or that. Um, now, maybe the Tesla people have got that figured out or have a plan for it, uh, but I, I, I think we need to wait and see. But as of now, I mean, really, the only autonomous part is this autopilot uh, function. Uh, since the accidents, have, has the autopilot been improved? I have no doubt that it's been improved. I, I'm not familiar exactly with uh, what uh, changes they've made. I mean, w one thing that's improved is that now people realize, hey, it's not an autonomous car. It is a mm -hmm. car that can drive itself uh, under the supervision of the operator. Uh, so uh, there's a bit of uh, getting used to, you know, what exactly does it mean to be an autopilot? Uh, it's not quite like the autopilot on an airplane, which really does fly the plane all by itself. Uh, the autopilot that's on the Tesla is something that sh needs to be monitored. Right, so we're not at the phase, obviously, where you're, it's fully autonomous yet. Uh, but Tesla is saying that fully autonomous vehicles, when they come out, where they can t drive entirely or on their own, will lower the financial cost of transportation for car owners. How so? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, and I, I'm, well, one, one thing it will reduce eventually is insurance costs. Because if you're driving an autonomous vehicle uh, it's, and they are much safer, you won't have to pay such uh, high insurance rates. So that's where you'll save something. It's quite possible that these vehicles will operate more efficiently. Uh, they'll operate at more optimal conditions for, in Tesla's case, an electric vehicle 
uh, but maybe for hybrids and so on. So in that sense, it would probably be um, lower cost. You'll probably have lower maintenance because they won't be run as, uh, uh, they'll, they'll be not operated, you know, the way people sometimes operate a, a rental car, right? You know, they, they drive it to drive it really hard. Right. Um, so in those things, I think it might uh, lower the, the cost of operation. All right. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much. A fascinating discussion. That was Bill Messner, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Tufts University in Boston.